Hello, and welcome to Quick Reload. In this episode, we'll be focusing on Stompy, or word order in Afrikaans. Stompy is a key element to understanding and improving your Afrikaans. Stompy is a template for word order in Afrikaans, and if you follow its rules, you will never have trouble writing a speech ever again. So let's dive in. Stompy stands for parts of speech and types of words. Here is the acronym Stompy in its complete form. As you can see, there are verbs after the subject and after the place, which are not pronounced. Let me take you through Stompy and explain each letter. But first you must understand that each letter represents a word in a sentence. So, the S stands for subject. The subject is the person or thing doing the action in the sentence. For example, ons, ak and hulla can be subject words. You must remember that context is very important however. The next letter is the silent V and this stands for verb 1. There is a simple principle in Afrikaans. And this is, whatever the sentence starts with, the verb comes next. The first verb in Afrikaans sentences can be any verb, but if there is an auxiliary verb, such as hit or sell in the sentence, they will usually be in the position of verb 1. T is the next letter, and it stands for time. Time words will be placed after the first verb. You can usually tell time words apart from other words by them mentioning a time of day or a number that indicates hours or minutes. Examples of time words can be middag, more, and ear. The fourth letter in Stompy is O, and it stands for object. An object in a sentence is a noun, and something that an action can be done to. For example, you can play on a soccer field, which is actually a place, and you can play with a soccer ball. So examples of objects can be Rekhanar, Tafel, and Butt. Rekhanar is a computer, Tafel is a table, and Butt is a road. The next letter is M, which stands for manner. Manner is the way in which the verb is done. You can think of them as basic adverbs. For example, startup can be a manner word. In a sentence, it would say, the scene harduk vandag startup. It tells us that the that the scene ran slowly. The P is next, and it stands for place. This is a pretty straightforward one. Basically, if anything is a place or a location, it goes in the position of a P. Examples of place words are basically anything that you can do anything in like but, comma, case, or plus, comma. The second verb comes next. This way you add all of your first in the past tense and where the second verb in the future tense begins. The second verb can also be any regular verb as well. The final part of Stompy is the infinitive. This is a very distinguishable part because an infinitive is where you have an om and a ter in the second part. An infinitive looks a lot like a sentence. Here is an example. Om cricket so it tells us that he's going to play cricket. Let me give you a sentence and we can then identify the different sections of Stompy. Campbell Sol Cricket of the Felt Spear. It is very important to note that not every sentence has to have every part of Stompy. We can now see that Campbell is the subject, Sol is verb 1, Cricket is the object, Op die Felt is the place, and Spiel is verb 2. That is all we have for you in this video. If you still need help, be sure to go to qrlearn.net where we will have more stuff for you and check out our Stompy page. If you'd also like to know how to do past tense and future tense in the Afrikaans, head to the site. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check us out on Twitter, Instagram. Bye bye.